Hey y'all, hey y'all. So that food actually turned out to be really good. It turned out to be really good. Um, I feel like the burritos could have been a little more flavorful. I feel like they need to come out with um oh that's his straw. That's a nice straw. I feel like they need to make like a special sauce and put that on all of their tacos because the tacos were literally like plain tacos but next time we go i'm gonna try the burrito tacos they had burrito tacos they had a burrito quesadillas they had burrito pizza i'm a fucking feed for pizza like my number one favorite food is pizza so i'm definitely gonna try that so there's this girl that i came across on instagram and she just tries a bunch of local restaurants and just local little spots whether it's like lounges you know like a bar or a restaurant whatever the case may be and she just tries her food and she rates them and stuff and you know shit like that and does reviews on them and a lot of them look really good and a lot of them i didn't even know that we had out here because i just feel like virginia don't have a lot of good places to eat that shit that shit the shits that she was trying look really fucking good so i made like um a little save folder on instagram of all of those locations and i'm gonna try a lot of those i'm gonna try to make it a point to try a new place at least once a week because them shits was good as hell but i'm about to drop my sister off at the house and then i'm about to head to work and do my makeup at the club etc you said hopefully what also, I do want to talk to y'all real quick, real quick. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Okay, so I do apologize, y'all, for the mia ness. Like, your girl really booked off and grabbed her bags and fucking left. Like, I really did, and I'm sorry for that. But it wasn't intentional. I promise y'all it was not intentional whatsoever. What happened was, was my fuck... I'm trying not to curse. I've been trying to work on my cursing, and it's been not difficult, but you know a little difficult and i'm really trying not to do it because my son my son's starting to catch on a lot and he's talking a lot and he's picking up a lot and i don't need him uh, cursing because he already be walking around saying oh shit and stuff like that anyway back to what i was talking about though um my phone broke y'all i had gotten into a fight with this one guy and he had pushed me and i fell on my phone i fell backwards on my phone concrete which caused my screen to fuck up so the phone itself works it's just um i can't see my screen and instead of getting my screen fixed i was like you know i might as well get a new phone because i was already due for an upgrade so i was like let me go ahead and get the upgrade and whoop, whoop. when i got the upgrade i couldn't remember my login to my phone not like the um i couldn't remember the login to like my iCloud so i had to make a whole new iCloud account since I didn't know the login to my passwords and shit, I couldn't log into my Insta my, my Instagram, YouTube, bro. And I was not about to make a whole new YouTube account. So I thugged it out for about two weeks. And then randomly something just told me to try it again and I tried it and I got logged in. So I'm back. And then when it came time to vlog at work, it just wasn't worth vlogging, y'all. I don't know. It just wasn't clubbing how I was supposed to be clubbing and I just lost the motivation but besides that part i do want to i've been telling you guys multiple times that this channel i don't want it to be only sugar vlogs like i want it to be vlogs you know days in my life because i really am a whole mom out here that be working her freaking ass off dancing another job with a whole kid you feel me like i really be doing the damn thing and i just be wanting to tell you guys along to the process and shit so i need to stop playing and just remember to pick up the camera pick up the camera pick up the camera i'll be forgetting to pick up the camera like but i'm trying i'm getting better i'm getting better 619 i wanted to stop and get something to eat but i don't think i'm gonna have time even though 
drive down the street. Like a lot of times. I just been hungry nonstop, even though I've been eating. Like I really just ate a big ass quesadilla before I uh, left for work. And here are the people next to me. They're fucking eating. Um. But I did bring the um. I did bring the the chips and sauce from the taco spot. Definitely run that shit. That shit better be good as fuck. I even took a little sauce. They, I didn't want to ask them for um to go a to go little thing for the sauce. To go little, I didn't ask for it to go cut for the sauce. So I ended up taking the container that the sauce came in, and I just got the tin foil that was on one of the quesadillas and or the tortillas, and I wrapped it around the top, and I just took the whole thing. It's stealing, but not stealing. It probably didn't even really. Probably didn't. Let's hear you, girl. Let's hear. Do not mind the dressing room. Our dressing room is ugly as hell, but it's not like y'all haven't seen it already. I came in the dress today, y'all. Okay, so my slow butt I was cleaning my shower the other day, and I threw away my razor, thinking I was gonna get a razor before I went back to work, and I didn't. So like my. My, it's not, I don't got a hairy coochie, but the bikini area is kind of, it's kind of prickly. So I gotta find something that's gonna cover that area because we can't have my hair all out of the sides. And a lot of my shit is small shit by the coochie area, so we gotta make some work. I'm working six to ten today. And then when I get off at 10, I go to my other job and I get off at 7 in the morning. It's gonna be a long night. And I left my damn eyelash glue at home. So we're probably gonna do some thin eyebrows and call it a day. A little natural look. Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. <gasps> they don't want it because I come to defeat. They don't want it. Y'all want to know one thing I hate? One thing I hate is when somebody literally comes up to me, let me ask me when am I going to get on stage, and I get on stage and you don't watch. You see me on stage, but you don't even watch me on stage. What's the purpose? What's the purpose? But I'm trying to like my face right now. This is the first time I did my makeup in about a week. I actually haven't been to work in a week because your girl was throwing up non-stop to the point I lost 10 pounds. I had to go to the hospital to get some fluids to hydrate me because I couldn't keep absolutely nothing down. I was just throwing up straight stomach lining. But this is the fit. I wish I had a different undertop, but I don't. So it's this little white piece. Okay, y'all, so I'm out of here. It really sucks because um, one person came in and he really tipped me a lot uh, my first day. He said, and he had more money, but I had to go because I have to work. And I'm gonna tell my other boss, my other job, like, I'm not gonna be able to come in at 11. I'm gonna come in at two o'clock because I've been here since six o'clock. Money did not come in until just now. Another guy came in and he be throwing money on me. But I gotta fucking go. I'm very upset. This is what I got right now for this from six to 10. Most of it was from like the very last hour. But it's okay, it's Monday. So I'm here all the way till Thursday. So we'll see how tomorrow goes, y'all. We'll see. These new thoughts sweet, sweet bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no care. Do anything for club. 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 Whole lot of people need to hear this. It's a lot of names on my hit list. I'm still saying what he wants to. Still wet like a big smash. I should run a whole dog at this rate.
small money count real quick because i haven't done one for y'all in a while the club was terrible once again like it's embarrassing how slow my club is and it just makes me just want to just quit overall but i'm not i'm not i ended up ended up leaving the club to do a private party and that's where the bread was at at work this is what i made Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five,
rock the natural because he's only seen me with red hair before. Only ever seen me with red hair before. And I feel like the black just brings me back to, I don't know, classier natural side of me. And I kind of miss that. So if I do that, I'm probably going to lay it down, like part it and lay it down with the do rag. I'm either going to do that or I kind of want to put my wig on. He's never seen me with a wig on either. I might do the curly one with the curly bangs, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. You gonna fuck tonight, and I don't need him sweating my damn. I don't need him sweating my hair out. I'm gonna be pissed if you sweat my hair out. And then we're supposed to be going to um to a baseball game. So what if you sweat my hair out, y'all? I'm going to be pissed. to pack my Sid night bag and hurry up. We're supposed to be meeting up for some lunch. <sighs> he needs to not be sorry y'all. Supposed to be meeting up for some lunch so yeah y'all. Going on that day. 
push me like that. And real quick, I haven't done brown eyebrows in a long time. Like, I'm liking it. And I haven't worn my wig in like two months, so I feel like a new girl. A new girl. I feel like a new girl. You know? My beautiful babies so hopefully my phone doesn't fall because i finally got a tripod for the car but i don't know if i'm using it right <laughs> i don't know if i'm using it right but y'all it is two days since you guys last seen me i see it tilted my shit went full um it is two days since you guys see me two days later from the day i told you guys about day went really good like always it wasn't my first time going out with him I've known him for about like a month and some change now. The only down part is that he's leaving. He's freaking moving. Why every time I meet somebody and we bond so good, they always move? Why? Why, 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 why? That's why I just feel like, but then again, like, I do feel like he's in my life for a specific reason. I don't feel like he's supposed to be my person. Granted, I feel like he could possibly be my person. Maybe like when he comes back. If he ever like does come back, he says he's gonna come back and visit all the time. But I don't know, we'll see. I've been watching these tarot card readers on YouTube and they do Sagittarius's. They do different signs. The ones I watch, I watch three of them that do all signs, and then I watch one I think that only does Sagittarius's. And I have three of my favorites. And they literally be on point with everything that goes on in my life. And it's really mind-blowing. And I feel like they pick up my energy a lot because I literally watch them faithfully. Like, I have their post notifications on. And anytime they post, I'm watching it, watching it, watching it. So, I feel like with me doing that, I just feel like they pick up my energy a lot. Granted, it's for all of Sagittarius's. All of Sagittarius's can't be going through the same thing. But when I tell you... She be right about everything, everything. She be right about everything. And I don't even wanna get into depth about it because like, even though I wanna be open with y'all, uh, some stuff should stay my business. So I'm gonna let it stay my business. But it's just crazy how this bitch be right. And she's saying that this person should be my person. And before I even met him, all of the tarot card readers were saying that I was going to have a long distance relationship, but I'm not gonna have a long distance relationship. I've had that one time that was with my son's dad, that was before I ever met him. And that's something I don't ever see myself doing again. I don't see myself doing that again at all. Give me one sec, I need to look at my GPS. Yeah, I don't ever see myself doing that again. But who knows? Hopefully he doesn't even move up. He's not supposed to, like if he was being true to himself and not feeling selfish for making this decision, his ass should stay here. But with him being a father and shit like that, we're not about to go with depth on that. Anyway, I'm on my way to go get some lunch. Your girl is fucking hungry. Ooh! Your girl is hungry as hell. So I'm about to go get some Jamaican food. Feed my stomach. Because I low-key am nauseous right now. I, um, I'm tired of shit. I don't know why I'm tired. I literally slept all day. It is 3 19. I probably got up at 2 o'clock. And I went to sleep early, so. But lately, like, I just been tired. I just been needing to catch up on sleep. I don't have my son, so I really am trying to catch up on some sleep. I don't even know if he's coming back today. But I do work tonight. I work overnight. So, I also, the reason why I'm also recording is because I wanted to do an outro for this vlog because I'm done with the vlog and I didn't want to leave y'all hanging with an outro. So, I'm going to do it now. I am going to show you guys my food because the food that I get is always really fucking good. I wanted to show y'all. Show y'all my food. Let's show y'all my food. And they have fresh mac and cheese. Yes, sir. Got the jerk chicken, mac, yams. My fat boo wanted a side of fucking curry chicken. And I forgot my cornbread meat. But 
yeah, y'all. This is the lunch for today. Yeah, y'all. I just want to do a quick little outro for y'all. Hope you guys really like this vlog. It was a lot longer than usual. Um, I got a little bit of certain things in there, and I also put some stage footage in there for y'all. I hate when I talk with my hands and I don't have nails. Like, I absolutely hate that shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add some stage footage in there for y'all because I know you guys absolutely, you guys look forward to my stage footage. So I wanted to put some stage footage in there for you guys. So I really guys hope I really hope you guys like the vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn your guys. Why would you do that? And turn your guys' post phone the, and turn on your guys' post. Why can't I say it? I keep wanting to say post phone. Turn on your guys' post notifications on. Okay. So I hope you guys really like this vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your guys' post notifications on. And make sure you guys comment. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys would like to see. Um, and I finally happy I gotta add a little bit of more footage, you know, of my life into the vlog. I'm gonna work on adding more. Like I told you guys, I just need to remember to pick up the fucking camera. So yeah, y'all. I will see you guys Monday. Okay. And you guys have a blessed day. Have a blessed rest of you guys this week. And if you guys are mothers, happy early Mother's Day. I hope you guys enjoy your Mother's Day. If you don't take your mama out, take your mama out. I have never taken my mama out for Mother's Day. 13 people. Ooh, I must miss my accent. Um, if you guys don't ever take your guys' mama out for Mother's Day, take her out. That's what I'm doing. I've never took my mom out for Mother's Day. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm not taking her out. I was going to take her out for breakfast, but she was like, no, I want you to save her money. I'd rather you come over and cook for me. So that's actually what I'm doing. I'm going to her house and I'm going to cook her and her man and my sibling and shit. Give her a big ass breakfast. And then my sister's supposed to come over that night and cook dinner for her too. So if you guys don't have the funds to go take your moms out, do something for them. Okay. Granted, my mom is a mother of the year, but she definitely is a grandma of the year. She's been looking out for me and my son since I've had him. So, I really do want to show appreciation to her for that. So, yeah, y'all. You guys all have a good night and good day, wherever, whatever time it is over there, wherever the fuck y'all at. I love you guys. Besitos. And you guys have a good rest of your day, okay? Just turn on, get up. Back it up.